Hey YouTube, so I wanted to show you a little um, issue um, with this particular van. It's kind of a weird issue. You see that up there? That's the water pump up there. And then you can see up there where there's been uh, some work done to the thermostat housing. Probably got a new thermostat in there. Water pump looks good. But the car's still losing water. I mean, look at that. It's just dripping down on the floor. So the owner requested that the water pump be replaced. However, the issue isn't the water pump. The issue is the freeze plug. Now you see where that water's dripping there? Go up in there. See that drip? And as you can see, it's running down over that bowl. You see just behind that bracket, there's a freeze plug there. And you can see that green trail that comes down through there. See that trail coming down there? Alright, so that's the liquid coming down from that freeze plug. It's just traveling around the bolt. You can see it pretty good, actually. So, to fix that, what you have to do is remove the CV axle and remove the CV axle bracket. And then, of course, you got to pop that out, and they do sell replacements for them. My favorite replacement for them is the one that has like a little rubber piece. Just stick it in, and you turn it. There's a nut on it. You turn it until it tightens up. Those work excellent because um, sometimes you get like the factory one size, and you try to stick it in there, and you might hit it too hard, and it'll go through. Well, the one with the rubber shim and and the middle will actually lock it in place. So we're going to get this done for you and um, stop the leak. But just one of those weird things that happens on vehicles sometimes, you know, you know, it'll give the symptom of like maybe it's the water pump, but it's not always the water pump. You know, anytime you have a coolant leak, it's best to lift the car up and take a good look and follow the trail of where the water is coming from. And in this case, we follow the trail and it's a freeze plug. I wish I could get that a little bit closer. But once we get that bracket off, you can see a lot better. So now that we have that brace out of the way, you can see how the coolant is just seeping out of that freeze plug there. So what we're going to do now, they've already replaced this one. So somebody's replaced that one. But on this one, I'm actually going to use the screw-in type freeze plug. And, uh, we're going to get the chisel and knock that one out and get the size and then... Uh, I'll show you the screen. It makes it a lot easier uh, when installing that. As you can see, that's where it takes the screen. There we go. There's a closer look at that freeze plug there. See how the water the coolant is seeping out. We can get some more light, but there you go, you can see the trail as it's coming down from there on the side. And then of course seeping out. So, like I said, we're gonna knock that out. Put another one in. Of course, after taking everything out, to make this job a little easier, we've got the motor supported um, because once you take that motor support out and the frame and the bracket, then you have nothing really holding the motor on that side and you don't want it to fall out on you, so you do need to have some type of support there. Alright, so now we have the new freeze plug in here. Um, I was going to use a little rubber plug, but because that's behind the cylinder, um, there wasn't enough space there, so we just went ahead and tapped that on in and did the new freeze plug. Okay. Um, someone did this freeze plug here, and you'll notice this freeze plug in here is recessed a lot more than this freeze plug there. So someone drove that in a little too deep and that's why they have a silicone around there. But you are supposed to install these um, freeze plugs dry. Um, basically they press in and you just tap them in with you know a punch and a hammer if needed. But don't push too hard or they'll go right on through. Alright, other than that, that's all I had for today. Have a great day. If you have any questions or comments, post chat. Um, we will put this thing back together and get to our next project.